Hi there! Do you know you can generate a new JApps application with baked-in deployment support towards Azure Spring Apps? Let's give it a try in this tutorial. Welcome to the fourth episode of Java on Azure Quick Start. This time, I said we're gonna go end to end from zero to hero, no app at all beforehand, but let's generate them all with jhipster. I go on start.jhipster.tech and here is a new button. Have you seen that before? It says generate an Azure application. And as you can see, it's the normal jhipster start experience, but this time we have baked in support for your deployment towards Azure Spring Apps. So let's give it a try. I will give my application first of all a name. Then I will need to specify the port I want to access my app with. In my case, I will use 8084. Then I want to use for a real world end-to-end -end scenario, a database. So let's go with PostgreSQL. I will now generate a zip file and download that. After it's downloaded, you can open it up in your favorite IDE of your choice. I will go with VS Code here. In my VS Code, I have the Java extension package installed as well as the Spring Boot extension package, but it will also work without those. What you need to have is Node.js as well as Docker or Podman installed and AZD. So we use the Azure development CLI here. Let's open up the readme to see what we are going to do now. So we will need to configure our project first. For this, we will use the azd config command. Now I can run it locally. I can go with the normal Maven and Java experience if I have both installed and I can just do the Maven package and then run my project with Java minus jar and then the package name. Or I use Maven watch, but therefore I remember that you need to set the access rights first. So I will do the second one here. I can access it now with localhost 8084. Remember, that's what we specified before the generation, right? So here it is, a to-do app. I can now create a new item that works. So why don't we put that to the cloud now, huh? So what I need to do is I need to log in to my subscription first. So I will do an AZD auth login for that. After we were logged in, we can now do an AZD app and this will ask me the important questions such as which subscription do I want to use and what's the app name in the cloud. Yeah, and that's mainly it. Everything now is happening behind the scenes. Specified in my AZD configs, you can actually see those in the code. Don't worry, no hidden secrets are going to be exposed. You can have a look all, it's all generated in the file. What it does, it creates a new resource group for me. As I said so many times, everything that belongs together should be together in a resource group, also for my jhipster application running this tutorial here. So after it created the resource group, it will spin up an Azure Spring Apps for me, as well as my PostgreSQL database, and then connect those two. Also, I will now deploy my app that I already have here, in the jar file. I have the password less experience with Azure Spring apps also, all behind the scenes. This is the running app this time on Azure Spring apps and on portal.azure.com you can also see my great app. Here's the resource group, here's my Spring apps cluster with the application in place and also the PostgreSQL and both are connected. Everything done with AZD. Thank you so much. Give it a try. Go on start.jahipsa.tech now. Talk to you very soon. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye, folks.